Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are doing a pour over. Today we're going to play with my new DF83V. Big thank you to Joe from Espresso Outlet for sending us this awesome grinder. In my previous video we did unboxing. I talked about the things that I love about this grinder. I talked about a few things that I would like them to change. But there is one thing that we haven't explored yet and that's the brew burst. The grinder came with Espresso Burst pre-installed but it also came with there are another set of burrs, the burrs for the pour overs for the filter coffee and I have to say those are probably the best looking burrs I've ever seen. Tiny, interesting shape, interesting geometry. If you compare them to standard muzzle burrs, well you can you can see the difference. How the burrs look like is one thing but how the coffee tastes, well that's the most important and that's what we're going to find out today. So I will quickly show you how to change the burrs and then we're going to brew some coffee. I am excited, if you're as excited as myself, definitely click like sit tight and enjoy those are the chinese made burrs both espresso and the pour overs both look great by the way the espresso burrs they remind me slightly of a high uniformity ssp burrs those brew burrs they look like no others both sets of burrs they have a special coating dlc diamond like carbon and that's why they have that kind of a blackish gun metal color interesting detail i noticed when you turn them the other side up on the brew burrs you can see the name of the producer <laughs> on the espresso burst there is nothing written there but i assume they are made by the same producer i think for too long ssp has been like a king of the bears we need competition we need proper competition i mean there are other bears out there but it's nice to see another producer making a very very decent burst i love the espresso burst the coffee is nicely balanced the notes are sharp but not overpowering so very satisfying espresso how the pour over burst tastes like well we will see first we need to open that cover so that's the very simple you just rotate it then you have to remove the front bar if you watch to my unboxing video you know there is that flying pin there so just be very careful you don't want to lose it this time it's actually stayed in once the burrs are away it's easy to see inside the burr chamber you can see that the clamper looks different than with the previous models of df83 because over there the burrs were horizontal here's a very Vertical. The front bar very easy to swap use the proper screwdriver by the way have a look inside that back area I haven't used this grinder for that long maybe eight nine days and there is already a buildup of some mess Maybe that's where that slightly increased retention is coming from what I like about this new grinder is that the screws that holding burrs are of a better quality Hopefully longevity of them will be longer as well So it was relatively easy to swap the front bar now the bottom bar it might be slightly trickier there is that sharp bit on which the burrs are sitting so i use the cloth to hold it because it otherwise it would be rotating without the cloth you may risk it scrape your fingers but even better way to do it is to turn the grinder up and then you have a direct access to those three screws one screw is always stuck so i had to work a little bit longer on that one thing that you have to keep an eye on is this both front and back burrs they have that o-ring this one is almost cleared in color so very easy to actually miss it what it does it stops the grinds coming under the burrs when you put that front burr in make sure that little pin will hit the groove inside the bottom of the grinder then just rotate the cover and you're done now before you start the burrs be very careful each burr set is different each burr set will move your zero point to the different spot on my grinder the touching point for brew burrs were on number 17 so just to be on the safe side before you start the grinder maybe move the dial to I don't know 40 just in case okay you don't want to jam your burrs and then you need to re-establish your zeros so when the burrs are rotating you rotate the dial going towards the zero until you hear the burrs are shimming that will be where your zero point is then to recalibrate your grinder very easy you can use that allen key that the machine came with but I lost mine so I had to find another one then you just open one screw on the side you move the grind indicator to the position that you want it to be you lock the screw and well you're done you're ready to brew some coffee so as you can see the process itself not difficult now I know what you're going to say Jack what about the burst alignment what about the burst alignment check burst alignment the burst might not be aligned well you know what I refuse to do burst alignment anymore I hate it it takes too long 
it's too frustrating and then if you change the burst often each time you do it you have to do burst alignment again and again and again no why should we do burst alignment i mean when you buy a new car it's not like the seller tells you okay it's a great car it's an awesome car but the wheels you know not even so this is a tool put some tin foil and make them even yourself no if i get something i want it to be perfect and if it's not perfect i try to ignore the imperfections and that's what i'm going to do maybe one day i will check the alignment but i want to believe that it is not completely off let's brew some coffee so i'm going to use this uh, mk2 orea you will find a simple recipe somewhere on the screen and we're going to use this caravan coffee roasters i use this coffee for espresso but it is a coffee roasted for pour overs let's do it the cup is ready the coffee bed well slightly on the muddy side remember those burrs are unseasoned and i think brew burrs they need even more time than the espresso burrs to reach their full potential by the way i'm using 1000 rpms i've noticed when i move from 1600 to 1000 i'm getting more of a sharpness in flavors but i cannot say for sure i just started to testing those rpms anyway cheers what I've noticed here, and I swapped those bars yesterday, and I've been drinking pour over since. If I had to sum up this pour over in one word, it's a satisfaction. It is an extremely satisfying cup. Tons of sweetness. There is a body, so probably some of that muddiness translates into higher body. There is, I would say, cherry in the background. The notes are there, not razor blade sharp, but present. I can get some sourness, no bitterness. Nicely balanced. But the first thing that hits you is the sweetness. And even though I am a big fan of sourness in my pour over, the sweetness, it gives you that pleasantness, as I said, that satisfaction. This cup, almost everybody would enjoy it. To say that something is good or bad, you need to compare it with something else. Today, we do not compare grinders. Their time will come for that. But I brewed another batch, this time using Niche Duo and Mother Brewers. Let's see what we get. I was aiming for the same brew time. You will see the coffee bed now. If you spot any major differences please let me know in the comments to me they look kind of similar i know that the niche duo operates on a different rpms that could be a factor here let's have a look what we get cheers also pleasant slightly thinner so less body possibly slightly crispier but less of that comforting sweetness that i got from the previous one i struggle to find that cherries here but i'm getting slightly more bitterness so i can say black tea as they promise in the tasting notes with a little bit of lemon so guys if you are still here definitely click like subscribe to the channel plenty more things coming we will be still exploring this new df83v we will compare it with niche duet so point and then i will do blind tasting that should be interesting i'm not really sure how to approach the variable rpm subject that's a time consuming process if you want to do it good in the comments if you have any questions about df83v please let me know i will try to answer are you planning to pre-order this grinder maybe you already did and also please let us know what is your favorite grinder for pour over and why but for today thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show and hopefully i will see you soon thank you bye Thank you.